Hey everyone, first reaction to Counter-Strike 2. I literally just got some pizza. I just got home, but I'm going to have to wait to eat because first things first, Counter-Strike 2. So um, on the Valve YouTube channel has been released three videos, Responsive Smokes, Leveling Up the World, and Moving Beyond Tick Rate. Let's go ahead and see. First look at Counter-Strike 2. I'm even out of breath. I literally just <laughs> ran up the stairs. Okay, let's take a look. In a Counter-Strike match, information can mean the difference between success... All right, already the the maps look solid. I, I don't know how to try, they look solid, right? And they look clean. So so far so good. Or failure. As a result, smoke grenades have become a cornerstone of team tactics. With Counter Strike 2's new game engine, we've evolved smokes and made them dynamic. Smoke grenades now create. Dude, is my computer gonna go to like? slideshow powerpoint 5 fps volumetric 3d objects that live in the world okay fallen in the right corner very cool now not only do all players see the same smoke regardless of position but the smoke can interact with the environment in interesting ways it reacts to lighting grows to fill spaces naturally that's kind of huge the shape of the smoke cloud can be pushed and carved by bullets and grenades oh okay that's by far the biggest change the visuals uh, eh, the volumetric filling but the fact that when you shoot through it you can see and that nade nades disperse it that's that's nuts i almost feel like the smokes are going to be less good now which to be honest they were kind of broken beforehand so not broken, but they were real good. You know, they were a staple you must use. You're not going to win if you don't use. In Counter-Strike 2, smoke grenades provide even more tactical opportunities. They're just going to look and play better. Oh, hold on. We have to analyze everything else. This is actual gameplay. I'm over here sitting at the Four smokes, but... Okay, so the guns have new models. They sound different. They're just... The map is the same. Okay, the money's at the bottom left. It show is that is that this thing gonna always be here? Does that show what side you're on? Look and play better. Okay, so a lot of these look looks like the and same guns and everything, better. but everything has a different sound. So we still got ancient and all that. Oh, I hate ancient. Look at that gun, I can't, dude! I can't wait to see the skins. Oh, he, here's it shows your armor, your nades. So same, uh, like uh, HUD basically. Up, oh come on, shoot that up for me. Okay, looks the same. The lighting in that in the tunnel looks different there. Lower tons. When you when you sue someone, they actually get electrocuted. That molly looked different too. It had more of a splash effect to it. Summer 20... Release date. Look at that. Summer 2023. Alright, this is just the first video. We got two more. In Counter -Strike 2, smoke... Ooh, I want to see that op. I need to see that op. And you can actually see the bullet with this. You have, you have the little zoom. Okay. Very cool. All right, let's go to video number two, leveling up the world. This hopefully it's all about the maps, right? Classic dust two, classic nuke, of history. classic mer. Oh, my age is showing. That's now oh, it's classic inferno, right? Yeah, it's classic inferno. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Don't. Maps are a I'm a I'm a Gen Z. All right. All right, the office. Pillar of Counter Strike. This is Inferno. Is this classic? Or is this like the reiterate? Never mind. I'm going to stop. And in Counter Strike 2, maps are getting a new look. But don't worry. You can still bring along your countless hours honing strategies and exploiting every corner. Okay, that's New Dust 2 right there. Yeah, the map looks fairly the same. That Molly looks very interesting. Again, looks more, more like liquidy. You know what I'm saying? A little more explosive. Corner and crevice. We took three approaches to improving maps while retaining their rich legacy. First, there are touchstone maps. Classic maps with solid foundations that players can use to evaluate gameplay changes from CSGO to Counter-Strike 2. 
These have improvements to lighting and character read, but otherwise haven't Ooh. been changed. Clean. Next, we have upgrades. These are maps that use new Source 2 lighting, including a physically based rendering system that produces realistic materials, lighting, and reflections. That water, nice. And finally, overhauls. The oldest maps have been fully rebuilt from the ground up, leveraging all of the Source 2 tools and rendering features. These tools will be available for community map makers to make it easier to build, experiment, and iterate. With upgrades to lighting, player. Okay. That looks so sick. Look at that water. Oh, I want to drink it. Read and materials in Counter Strike 2. Even the familiar will feel brand new. Oh, I love that map. God, I loved that hostage map. Again, these smokes. Bomb. Oh, and does it does. Did, did I just see like down here? It actually shows when you get kills. Right here, look. It's one, two. So it shows you, like if you're on, if you're on, you know, on ace potential here, and you're like, did I get three or four kills? Well, hopefully no now. I hope there's not new spray patterns. There shouldn't be. I'm trying to analyze this AK shot right here. Is this a new? I think that's the same old spray pattern though, right? These bullets are definitely improved though. I think this is kind of like what H1Z1 did back in the day where the bullets currently, you can kind of see them, but you you really know where the bullet went by the hole in the wall. With these, you can almost see the bullet itself. All right, last video, moving beyond tick right. Counter-Strike is known for its visceral and satisfying gunplay. Oh yeah. Now, firing a weapon looks pretty simple. You click your mouse, your character shoots, your target takes damage. Oh, that's blood. That's n very new and improved blood. Very uh, HD. But there's a lot more happening behind... Is this new Inferno? Oh, no. New Mirage? Okay. M more vivid colors, more shadows. Behind the scenes. In previous versions of Counter-Strike, the game only evaluated moving and shooting in discrete time intervals, or ticks. And time between those ticks didn't exist. For the most part, the experience was seamless. Oh, new Sometimes deagle? Sometimes those milliseconds between click and tick could be the difference between landing or missing your shot. That's why with Counter-Strike 2, we're introducing sub-tick updates. Now the tick rate no longer matters for moving and shooting, so the server will know the exact moment you fired your shot, jumped your jump, or peaked your peak, and the server will calculate your precise actions between ticks. So what you see is what you get. That's pretty huge. I know the whole 64, uh, the 120, whatever tick, that's just been something, like one of the main things that especially competitive uh, MM people have been like, you know, really mad about. That's why the Nailers face any ESA and all those because bitter to great, you know. So that's huge. Alright, and they're replaying a lot of the same footage here. Okay. I think that's all we get right now. That's all we get. Okay. Um... So those were the videos that we got. What are my thoughts? Honestly, I don't see anything, but I, this is all good, right? I think this uh, better responsiveness is clearly a good thing. I don't see why that would ever be a bad thing. The maps, I'm not going to say anything yet because it depends. We have to get on the maps. From visualizing it, they look nice, but we'll see how they really play. So I, I can't really say much about the maps yet. And then the smokes, I think that's a good thing. Um, I think there's... Yeah, I think it's going to be a good thing overall. It's going to be a little weird because people, you know, for the past, what, decade, 20, maybe two decades, people have been either pushing through smoke, wait for the smoke, or shoot through the smoke. But now you have... You could shoot to see and then go through or not go. You could, you could save a nade to get rid of a smoke momentarily... All of a sudden, if you're on dust long and you throw a nade or you throw a smoke CT, that's not like wraps anymore where you can just cross and likely no one's going to run through unless they're real dumb. 
that that's no longer a guarantee anymore. If I chuck a nade, I can see right through. Um, so that, you know, in a sense, ops get better here because um, smokes have always been a trouble for ops um, because if they push through the smoke and you have an op, you're kind of screwed. Um, so this this is a slight upgrade to ops here, um, but it's a slight upgrade to all the guns because of course now you can see it, you can see through it. They didn't show anything about the flashes or nades yet, so I'm guessing those are probably still similar. We'll see how they work with the new lighting and the new maps and as far as like the bounciness because I'm assuming there's new physics. There was a tiny little clip with the hats falling, so I think there's going to be new physics, meaning the trajectory and how you throw nades and they're bouncing might be a little different, which it didn't show and I'm hoping those stay fairly similar or improve it, but I don't know how they would improve it because it's pretty good right now. Um, yeah, I think this is good. I think this is definitely a step forward. I'm very interested to see how they're going to import skins into these new models. Most guns had new sounds. So that's going to be another very interesting thing, getting used to the new sounds for a third or fourth time at this point. Many, many more than that if you've played 1.6 or Source. Interesting. Okay. I, I'm excited. And they even have a release date of 2023 in the summer. So... Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else to say. I, I, I the new new UI looks good. Um, I still have a lot of questions as far as the game itself, like which maps are going to be competitive maps. I know they kind of mentioned it, like these ones are. You know, there's ones that are remade. There's ones that are upgraded, and there's ones that are basically just retouched. Um, so it's going to be very interesting. They didn't mention any new guns. I only saw old guns. Um, again, I I don't think they mentioned anything about spray. So I'm hoping the sprays stay the same. Uh, most importantly, this is the first time I've been watching. This is the first time I've seen these videos. If you saw something in the videos that I missed, um, that's like important, like maybe I don't know, like a, I don't know, new gun, special part of the map that was heavily changed. Um, anything that you saw in the video, leave it in the comments because I want to know about it. And this again, this is just first impression. I'll have to go through and um, you know, analyze it a bit better to see if I missed anything that's gigantic, but. Obviously, this game is coming out now in a few months, we know, in the summer. So, realistically, you know, they don't want to give us all the information now. They're probably going to slowly give us information as far as, um, you know, changes in anything else. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. Again, please let me know in the comments if I missed anything because um, I want to know about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.